Hi, this is the short and sweet version of creating threads in FreeCAD 1.9 pre-release. I'm using the February 14th pre-release of 0 0.19, and I've already created a cylinder that I'm going to uh, attach the thread to, just to save time. Uh, the important thing to know about this cylinder is that its outside radius is 20 millimeters. So let's create the, in the XZ plane, the thread profile. And I'm going to create a thread profi profile I like to use. Forty-five degree angles, top and bottom, in a trapezoid. One millimeter for this middle part. One point two five millimeters. For this part, so I and that's so that I can embed this a little bit and still have a millimeter of thread sticking out. So if we make it the end of the thread 21 millimeters, that's embedded a quarter millimeter. And for this thread, I'm going to make this. Uh, thread uh, six millimeters above the base of the cylinder. <clears throat> okay. And next we're going to leave the part design workbench where we've been working and go to the part workbench and create primitives. And we're going to create a helix its pitch, that is the height from one turn to the next, is four millimeters because my profile is three millimeters tall and I want a one millimeter space above it. Uh, the height, the number of turns here, I want to do one and a half turns, so that's one and a half times four is six millimeters high. And I want a radius that puts it in the middle of the thread profile, which would be 20.5 millimeters. So half a millimeter beyond the edge of the cylinder, and that's it, right-handed. I create that. Next thing I want to do is bring the height up to the right place. So in the helix data here, placement, position, I want six millimeters. So notice how that's in the middle of the thread. The next thing I want to do is move the, move the thread profile and the path off the seam. So I want to change the helix angle to two degrees. Now the helix is off the seam. And I need to do the same for the thread profile. But first, I need to change its, its axis because it's in a different plane. Okay, now you can see those two are lined, the, th the thread profile and the path are lined up and they're off the seam of the cylinder. Next, we need to go back to the part design workbench. Make sure that the body is the active body. And we're gonna make a cross-reference to the helix called a shape binder. I'm going to do a shape binder to the helix. And that lets us cross-reference the helix. So it lets us talk about the helix from within this body, which is necessary for doing the sweep. Now we can select the thread profile and do the additive sweep. And the object we want to use is that uh, shape binder. And we want the things to be straight, so we want to use for an A orientation mode, and we're done.
that's our one and a half turn, our one and a half turn uh, cylinder thread. Now suppose we want to do a three turn thread instead. To do that, we need to go back to our helix and change our, <clears throat> sorry, change our height to just less than one turn, like so. Then we're going to go back to the additive pipe, that, that loop, the, the thread, and duplicate it with a linear pattern. And we want to run it along the z-axis. And we want the height to be three turns minus one turn. So two turns times the four millimeter pitch is two times four is eight millimeters. That looks good. So we do okay. And there is our three turn thread. So if you want to uh, delve more uh, deeply into all this, I've got another video that's uh, five ways to fail making threads that explains why I did all the things I did in this video. So have a look at that and enjoy making threads. <laughs>